Hello everyone. So today we will be solving a problem from American math competition. And using this problem, we will learn about counting in a grid. So in the AMC 10, this was posed as a probability question. But as you will realize that at this level, probability is actually just component oryx. You count the possibilities. That's all. So let me explain what the problem is. We have a grid, a three cross three grid. So there are three columns and three rows. And you want to put the numbers one, two, three, four, up to nine in these boxes. You cannot repeat a number. So you cannot have like one, one and so on. You have to use all five numbers. And of course, a particular box cannot contain more than one number. The question is that you want the sum of values in a row and in a column. You want that to be odd. So you add the values in a particular row or a column, you add the values and you want that sum to be odd number. You add the numbers in this column, this column or this column, all of them should be odd. You add the numbers in this row, this row or this row, all of them should be odd. So that's how the numbers are sort of spread around. We want to know how many ways how many ways can this be done? So, by the end of this video, you will learn a very simple but powerful problem solving technique in combinatorics, especially when you are working with even odd questions. And you will see how we will use that principle to solve this problem. Let, so let's dive into it. The first thing is that we want the numbers in a particular column to be odd and a particular row, the numbers should also sum up to an odd number. We have to have four even numbers. Let's name them E, uh, uh, A. So we want to insert the four even numbers first. So how do we do it? So suppose we have an even number in this particular box, in this box, then there must be another even number in the same row. Think about it. If you want the sum of the numbers to be odd, there is either no odd numbers in that row or there are exactly one odd number and two even numbers. So here is the principle that I was talking about. So here is the principle and this is very powerful and simple. If you want the sum to be odd, then number of odds should be odd. If you want the sum of certain numbers to be odd, then the number of odd numbers in those numbers should be odd itself. If you think about it, it's very simple, it's, it's obvious, but this principle is useful in many problems, in particular this one. So, here, Either all three are odd or exactly one of them is odd, right? So, what we will do is, we know that uh, there are two events in a particular row. So, we have to first choose the rows in which the even numbers appear. So, there are three choices. So, three choices, either these two 
or these two in red or it could be the green one, the first and the third one. So there are three ways you can put the, you can choose the rows in which the even numbers are appearing. So there are four even numbers. If you choose two rows, each of those rows can must contain two even numbers, so total four, right? Okay, so there are three choices for rows. And let me write those choices. It's either row one, row two. So the first two rows, you just put the events in the first two rows. Or it is row one, or row three. So if you choose the first and the third row. Or it's row two, row three. You choose the second and the third. Okay. The same thing goes for the polyps. So there are two choices, uh, there are three choices of how you can choose the pair of columns in which the even numbers will appear. It could be the column one, column two, so these two columns, or it could be column one, column three, so the first one is red and the third one, or it could be column two, column three, so it could be second one and the third one. So these are the three choices for columns for the even numbers. So now there are three ways here and the three ways here. So to total nine ways of doing this. So nine ways of placing the even numbers. Nine ways of placing the even numbers. Now, once you have chosen the boxes where you will place the even numbers, you can arrange them in four factorial ways. So, four factorial ways of arranging the even numbers and five factorial ways of arranging the remaining odd numbers. Up to one to nine, there are five odd numbers. So, in total, you have nine times 4 factorial times 5 factorial ways of doing this. That's it. Now, the question actually asks about the probability that some of the numbers in every row and every column is odd. So, to find the probability, if you just divide it by 9 factorial, which is all possible ways. So, now, Maybe you can tell me in the comment section what is the simplified form of this fraction. This video is created at chinta.com. We have outstanding programs in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiad, uh, for American math competition, for IOQM, INMO and so on. Uh, Chinta students are successful in this contest because we have almost one problem solving session every day. If you are an internal student at Chinta, you should be attending the problem solving classes every day. That is where all the success is happening. All right. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep on doing great mathematics and stay well. Bye.